Welcome to the Biome Kitchen. My name is Emma Folkt, and today we're going to be making salads. The first salad on the menu is going to be an arugula grape salad, and we're going to add to that grapes as well as some oranges. So it's a citrusy salad with a nice vinaigrette. This is wonderful for entertaining, taking to a barbecue, any summer event, perfect. First, we're going to cut up the orange, and I just want to show you how it's easy to make orange slices. Um, what we got to do is just take off the peel. So instead of peeling it with my hands, I'm going to use the knife to literally peel the orange. So taking off both ends like this, we're just going to cut down the side of the orange so that you can see the orange blush, and we're taking away all the pith. Oranges are a wonderful source of vitamin C. In fact, you can get your whole entire day's worth of vitamin C just from one orange. So we'll make sure that you eat a whole orange in the salad. This is a real easy way to peel the orange, is to just cut off the skin. So I'm cutting away the white pith because that's really you know, bitter. It's not part of the juicy sweet fruit. So we'll get rid of that. And you're kind of left with just the fruit itself. So we could cut this orange in several ways. We could cut it in segments if we want to, or we can cut it and make little wheels. And I think we're just going to do the wheels because they look so pretty. Um, just take your orange and hold on to it while you cut down to make probably about an eighth of an inch um, wheels. You can uh, see how pretty these are. So oranges are around most of the year. The ones I have are from California. And you can get different kinds of oranges. These ones I've cut up already have, um, this is kind of a blood orange. It's a beautiful color, so it adds more color to that green base in your salad. So I, I enjoy looking at all the different oranges and, and finding out what's out there. Also in this recipe, we're going to add some grapes. And the ones we have are just some red grapes that I found in the market. You can use green grapes, anything you want. So you'll just take your grape and cut it in half. And I took about 20 grapes um, and cut them in half and they're ready to go uh, into the salad. So using fruit in your salad is a wonderful way to get your daily servings of fruit. If we can get two cups of fruit a day, we're doing really well. Okay, so we're going to assemble the salad and I have this little salad bowl here. It has um, the tongs in it already, the salad tongs, and I'm just going to uh, open up the arugula and just put it in the salad. And if you want, um, you can buy the arugula already washed. Again, this is organic, so there's no pesticides on it. Uh, arugula is a little more bitter than most lettuce. You can use romaine or you can use kale even. You could use any kind of leafy green in this particular salad. We're gonna um, sprinkle the grapes on top of the salad. And then we'll place some of the orange slices onto the salad as well. I don't even need to toss the salad until ready to serve because it looks so pretty with all the colors. like a piece of art. Look at that. Nice, huh? So we can put all of these gorgeous colors together and then on top of that you can decide if you want to put a topping like a goat cheese or a feta. I like goat cheese because it's mild and it's creamy so it crumbles really well on top and this is about three ounces of goat cheese which I'm opening up here. We have the goat cheese here and I'm just going to um, put it into little crumbles and and put it right into the salad. You know, you could use feta cheese or you could even put in some Parmesan cheese. That would be delicious on top of this salad. Or no cheese at all, whatever you feel like. So I'm gonna just put this on top of the salad, a little bit around, and maybe before I serve it, I'm gonna crumble it up a little bit more, but just for now. Alright, so this is an arugula, orange, and grape salad, and it has a little bit of goat cheese on it. If you're interested in learning more about a low FODMAP diet, just visit www.thebiomekitchen.com or 
message me anytime on Instagram. I'd love to hear from you.